There's a special lady who's a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, a mother. Francesca is an Italian businesswoman. She is an entrepreneur. She's a philanthropist. She is also the mother of four beautiful, amazing young girls, including the mom of a two-month-old. She looks absolutely incredible. I don't know how she juggles it all. She also is an extraordinary, accomplished woman in so many levels, personally and professionally. She holds a first-class honor degree in literature and philosophy. She's also a passionate advocate, not just of the dignity of women, but a relentless advocate and supporter of greater opportunity for women in the workplace and in business in a big, big way. She's founder and director of ERA International, a global luxury real estate brokerage firm. She's also the president and the co-founder of Network Her, an organization that seeks to connect professional women around around the globe. If that's not enough, she's also a co-host. She still does a lot of TV work and the former co-host of a TV show called Bold Women, appropriately so. She is the MC of also the American Italian Cancer Foundation, a New York-based nonprofit. She is also the trustee of the Museo del Prado in Madrid, Spain. Everybody, a huge round of applause to Francesca Agostinelli. <laughs> It's a pleasure for me to be here with all of you today. Thank you for the marvelous introduction. Being a mother is like uh, an being an entrepreneur. It's never like a job from nine to five. You know, some days are easier than others, and some others are very difficult. You know, it's like a little bit of, like a roller coaster. But when you do your things, anything, you mean, you spend time with your family or you're working, you do it with passion. I absolutely love to be the mother of my daughter, but I absolutely love as well to be a woman in career. I try when I'm with my children to have a free zone device, to just focus on them, on their needs, or their thoughts, or their feelings. It's very important to be present in that moment. I give full attention to my children when I'm with them. I am extremely devoted to them, to my family in general. I prioritize my family towards anything else. I'm very lucky, my husband is here with me. We built an incredible, beautiful family. And we have, we created a very strong bond, which is very important, especially because it gives the feelings to children of belonging. They give the feeling that they are belong to somebody, that they are loved, that they are cared, they are needed. And these are all important feelings that are vital for a child's development. I love that you have created uh, the rainbow chart oh, yes. and, and also a gratitude book. It's very important as a mother to continuously demonstrate and love our children unconditionally, but not just to tell them, but to show them the actions speak louder than words. I like to praise my children every day. Every day I tell them how much I love them, how much I'm proud of them. I try to build their self-esteem and empower them. Gratefulness is at the base of my family. I'm trying to teach them that nothing has to be taken for granted. I don't take anything for granted. I would like them to, to be independent from a very young age. I think it's important for me as a mother to start from the early age to teach them gratefulness and uh, thankfulness. I want them to learn you know, also the value of the money. I bring always math in the real world. And every Saturday I give a little coin and they have to, they can choose, they can buy when they accumulate enough coins, a little ice cream or something, okay, then just put in the piggy bank. Spending versus saving. They like to have a positive attitude. You also have a great motto. We are sister for life and friends forever. I think it's important for them to know that, you know, we are very lucky to have each other. I would like them to always support each other because it's quite special for me as a mother to have four daughters. What I've done all my life building network her, being on TV and giving voice to women, supporting women. I live my life in a spirit of collaboration rather than competition. So with the four of them, I will have so much to share and I could let get involved in so many things that I do. What I love is you speak five languages, correct? We speak Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese and English. I think it's very good for them to, to keep 
learning and to keep practicing. I show them why education is so important. I explain to them why I speak so many languages and why I love to speak so many languages. Our children watch us all the time, you know, we lead by example. Their brain are like sponges, so they always get stimulation from what we say, what we do. I was on TV and actually Rita was on my show. One I of the most beautiful on her show. How lucky am I? <laughs> one of the most beautiful episodes. It was wonderful. But Angelica used to come with me on my TV show for two and a half years until I had my second child. It was important for me to bring her on the show with me to show her what I was doing. So communication at the base of everything and good values, you know, gratefulness and faith is very important for me, faith. My children also have a very good sense of faith. We need to be very patient towards them. We have to have empathy for them because they're little people. And we are actually the, the most amazing teachers for our children. They look at us like hero, you know, and they watch us very carefully. Sometimes it's not even important what you say, but the way you deliver your message. You need to choose very carefully the words because they're gonna stick in their head. Well, your words have stuck in all of our heads. A big round of applause for Francesca. Thank you very much.